Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. So in this video, we are going to discuss exercise 7.2 of our class 10. And as you all know, we have started Zero to Hero series wherein we are discussing the most important questions chapter wise, right? So as a part of this, in exercise 7.2 also, we are going to discuss the important questions, right? So yes, yes. So let's start the session now. So, exercise 7.2 is basically completely dependent on section formula. So, I hope you all know section formula. So, what is it? So, if you have points A and B, right? And if you have a point P. Now, if this point P is dividing the line joining A, B in the ratio M1 is to M2. Okay, so this point A, I'm taking it as X1, Y1 and this point I'm taking it as X2, Y2 and this point P which is dividing okay that we are taking it as x y so p you can write the coordinates of p as m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 and m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 okay so if you you have to remember this okay so and how will you remember this the easy method is so here you will take the ratios first this ratio this ratio multiplied by this coordinates and this ratio again multiplied by these coordinates gives you the point. Okay. So the point here is, so for the x coordinate, for the x coordinate, you will only take the x coordinates here and here you will only consider the y coordinates of both A and B. Right. And one more important point is here, as I told you, you will take only the x coordinates firstly and y coordinates as the second second coordinate okay so for y coordinate you will only consider the y coordinates and so for first ratio m1 you will take x2 okay m2 x1 just observe the su suffix it is m1 x2 okay so 1 and 2 then here you will have 2 and 1 divided by m1 plus m2 is anyway common okay so please remember this so we will be doing many problems based on this simple formula right so yes now let's get into the problem now here you can see here you can see Acha. so here we have here we have two points okay so the point the first point given is so you have one point given i'm taking it as a minus one seven and the other point i'm taking it as four minus three let this point be b okay and let a point and let a point p x y is dividing these two points right and the ratio the ratio given is the ratio is nothing but 2 is to 3 so from the formula we just discussed so this let this be x1 and this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 this is ratio is m1 and m2 right so p x y how will i get p x y is nothing but m1 x2 plus m2 x1 here we'll only consider x coordinates divided by m1 plus m2 and here we consider y coordinates now m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 right so that is equals to now all the values are here just you need to substitute so i'm just substituting here p x y is equals to m1 so m1 is 2 into x2 is 4 plus m2 is 3 and x1 is minus 1 divided by m1 plus m2 is 2 plus 3 and y coordinate is nothing but m1 is 2 y2 is minus 3 plus m2 is 3 and y1 is 7 divided by 2 plus 3 gives you the point xy which is dividing the line joining a and b so this is 2 4 is 8 minus 3 divided by 5 and here you have minus 6 plus 3 divided by 5 so that is nothing but 8 minus 3 is 5 by 5 and minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3 upon 5. So the answer, final answer you are getting is 1, 1 and yes, here, here the point y1, this is 7, isn't it better? So this was 7, y1. So this you will get it as 7, 3 is a 21. Chalo, right? So this is 21. So 21 minus 6 gives you 15. Okay? So this is nothing but uh, yes. So it will be plus 15 again. So plus 15 divided by 5 gives you 3. Right. So your point P X Y is nothing but 1 comma 3. Okay. So 
चलो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द पॉइंट्स ऑफ क्राइस सेक्शन ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट जॉइनिंग फोर माइनस वन एंड माइनस टू माइनस थ्री ओके सो यू हैव अ लाइन सेगमेंट सो दिस इज फोर माइनस वन एंड यू हैव अनदर पॉइंट माइनस टू माइनस थ्री सो नाउ हियर यू हैव टू फाइंड द पॉइंट ऑफ क्राइस सेक्शन नाउ यू विल बी आस्किंग मी मैम यू टोल मी दैट द रेशो विल बी गिवन एज इन द इन दिस केस रेशो वॉज गिवन टू अस सो सिंपल सब्सटूशन सो हियर we substitute and we got the value of the point which is dividing it in the ratio but here what is the meaning of points of trisection so trisection means the ratio is in the form of 1 is to 2 or it is in the form of 2 is to 1 trisection 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 means dividing into three parts okay three equal parts so it can be 1 is to 2 Or two is to one. Okay, suppose the point can be here. The point P can be here. So this point P is dividing A B in the ratio. See, this is one part. Is to this can be two parts. Okay. Otherwise, you can also have a point Q. Okay, you can have a point Q here. Now this point Q divides A B in the ratio. This is two parts, and firstly, and you have one part. Okay, so there can be two points on the same line joining A and B, which divides. the line into three parts okay trisection means it has to divide into three parts right the three parts can be in the ratio 1 is to 2 okay or it can be in the ratio 2 is to 1 that means we got two ratios okay so the ratio the ratios of trisection are 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 1 okay since you have two ratios you have two points here okay you have two points so in whenever a question like this is given to you you will have to find the two points whenever point of trisection is asked you will have to find two points because you have two ratios okay 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 1 right so let us find what is p first okay p i am taking it as x1 so that is nothing but now i am taking this ratio first so in this ratio let us find the uh, values okay so this is m1 and this is m2 and in this point this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 right so finding the points and now substituting in the formula so you have m1 x2 is minus 2 plus m2 x1 is 4 divided by m1 plus m2 2 plus 1 is 3 and here you have this is 3 and here you have m m1 m1 is again 1 and y2 is minus 3 plus m2 is 2 and y1 is minus 1 divided by m1 plus m2 is 3 So that is equals to minus two plus eight divided by three and minus three minus two divided by three. So here, what is the final answer you are getting? Minus two plus eight gives you six by three, and minus two minus three minus two gives you minus five upon three. So here, cancelling two comma minus five upon three is this point. This point is two comma minus five upon three. Now this two comma minus five upon three divides the line in one is to two ratio. Now I want another point Q which divides this in two is to one ratio. Okay, so I want a point Q which divides in two is to one ratio. Right, so this is M one and this is M two. And what are the points given? A is My four minus one and B is minus two minus three. So this is x two y two and this is x one y one, right? So this is equals to so m one x two. M one is two. X two is minus two plus m two x one is four divided by m one plus m two is three, and m two m one y two. Y two is minus three plus m two is one and y one is minus one divided by m one plus m two is three. That is equals to minus four plus four divided by three, and this is minus six minus one divided by three. So the final answer you are getting minus four plus four is zero divided by three is zero, and this is minus seven divided by three. So two points you got. Point number one. So the first point was. 2 comma minus 5 by 3 and the second point Q is 0 comma minus 7 by 3 so this is 7 right bachche so here also we confused and we wrote it as we took it as 1 but this is 7 okay yes so yes so these are the two points of trisection so whenever a point of trisection is asked you will take the ratios as 2 is to 1 and 1 is to 2 the ratio will not be mentioned in the question tri section means tri means tree tri means 3 so section means parts 
So trisection means you need a point which divides the line into three parts, right? So the ratio is 2 is to 1 or 1 is to 2. Chalo, right? I hope this is clear for you and if you want such amazing uh, explanation, so uh, we, we have created our own app of Math Facilitator. I'll just give you the link of that app in the description. Just you can click on the link and download it from the Play Store. So in that app, you will get so many courses, right? So as of now, we have a course, chapter-wise courses, okay? The tough chapters like tangents and sequence are explained in a very easy way. And right now, offer offer is going on in these courses. So you'll have a flat 100 rupees discount. So do download the app and check out the courses. And not only this, we are coming up with a new crash course and that's a surprise, right? So yes, download the app and be ready. And yes, avail, avail the discounts which are provided right now. So this is question number three. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus 3, 10 and 6 minus 8 is divided by minus 1, 6. Okay. So here, here you have find, you will have to find the ratio. You don't know the ratio. Okay. The ratio we are taking it as M1 is to M2. Isn't it better? We don't know the ratio. So you take it as M1 is to M2. Now, the this ratio you this ratio now see the line segment joining the points these two points now the line segment is joined by these two points so i'm taking this as a and b okay the line segment joining the points these two so i'm taking this as a and b so this is minus 3 10 and this is 6 minus 8 is divided by this point so this point is dividing my line segment okay so i am just taking this point as minus 1 6 and the ratio we don't know, you'll have to find the ratio we are taking this M1 is to M2. But just observe, Achi. so here M1 is to M2, you have, you have two variables. Okay, so in this way, these two variables you will have to find, isn't it? So it becomes little difficult. So let us modify this, isn't So how shall we modify? Just take M2 to LHS, so it, this becomes M1 upon M2 is to 1. Okay, there is nothing here in RHS, so it becomes 1. Okay, to simplify further, I'll, I'll help you in this way. Chalo, now this is nothing but M1 by M2 is to 1. Isn't it? Yes, M2, we have just taken it to LHS. So now this M1 by M2, I'm just taking it as K is to 1. Okay, I'm just taking it as K is to 1. So now if you can see, the ratio is K is to 1, which is nothing but M1 is to M2, only we modified it as K is to 1. But here the advantage is you have only one variable which you have to find. So you can happily find, isn't it? So always remember, always, always remember whenever you have to find the ratio, please take the ratio as K is to 1. Now I told you why you are taking the ratio as K is to 1 also, isn't it? So now let's start solving. So, ratio is k is to 1 and yes. So, here, so this is the important thing which you have to remember. And yes, so the ratio I'm taking it as k is to 1. So, let us substitute in the section formula again. So, the point is minus 1, 6. So, p minus 1, 6 is equals to here m1. This is m1 and this is m2 now, isn't it? So, m1 into again the same formula we are using but we have modified it. So, m1 into m1 is nothing but k. So, k into this is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. So, k into x2 plus 1 into x1 is minus 3 divided by k plus 1. And here again you have k into y2 is minus 8 plus 1 into this is 10 divided by k plus 1. Right? But the coordinates are given to you. So, we shall equate the x coordinates. Okay? Let's equate both the x coordinates and see. So, minus 1 is equals to 6k minus 3 upon k plus 1. So, let me cross multiply. So, I have minus 1 into k plus 1 is equals to 6k minus 3. So, this is nothing but minus k minus 1 is equals to 6k minus 3. Or, or the same thing I can write it as. Now, let me take all k's to one side. Okay. So, this is minus k on LHS. So, I am transposing it to RHS. So, I have minus 1 on LHS and minus 3 on RHS. Let me take it to this minus 3. I am just taking it to LHS. So, it becomes plus 3 is equals to 6k plus k. So, 2 is equals to 7k or 2 upon 7 is equals to k. So, the value of k I got is 2 upon 7. But the ratio is what? Ratio we have taken it as k is to 1. So, k is 2 upon 7 is to 1. So, just multiply 7 on both the sides. So, you will get 2 is to 7 is the 
required ratio. Got the point? So, firstly, whenever ratio is asked to you, take it as case to 1 and then just substitute in the section formula and equate the x coordinate or the y coordinate as per the convenience, right? So, equating any of the coordinates, you will get the value of k. Again, substitute the value of k in the ratio, you will get the ratio. So, yes so let's end it here for today and i'll meet you again in my next video but don't forget to download the app and there are many 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 surprises which are waiting for you thank you do like the video and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the channel with all your friends thank you